Hey, if you're anything like me, then you're always coming up with projects for your ESP32, which I have right back here, that you don't have enough output pins. So what I've got is a solution, and it is this little thing right here, which is an SN54HC595. It's a shift register, okay? So each one of these LEDs running here is running on a separate output, okay? And it's all being controlled right back here by these three wires coming out of the ESP32. So they come out of here, they go into the first sh shift register, and then these things are just daisy chained along, and then they come out here, and then this is, um, these are some ULN 2803s, these are Darlington arrays to get more power, um, more amperage, and then controls these pins out here. So let me show you these things. Okay, so the, this is the shift register, okay, it's just this little, uh, what, 16 pin thing, let me show you what it does, okay. All right, basically what you have, you have three pins that you have to have to control this thing. Your serial input, your serial clock, and then right up here is the register clock. These other two are optional and they're just for clearing, clearing things out quickly, okay? So you put your serial signal from your ESP32 to this pin right here. And then when you raise the clock pin, which is this, it shifts it into here. And then if you raise the clock pin again, whatever's here gets shifted into this and then this one gets shifted into this okay so you keep raising that clock pin and whatever is here it just keeps shifting on down the line now when you get these all set the way that you want you raise the register shift or the register clock and it shifts all of these registers into here and that is what controls the output so basically you just run these things down serially shifting and then when you're ready, you raise that one and it puts everything in here and changes your output. Cool thing about this is that once everything shifts down and fills up, then this starts shifting out this pin. So you can put another one after it and daisy chain it together. And so you just shift it all out. You can like this one that, um, that you see running right here. This one is running what do we have? 32, 32, we got four of them daisy chained together. But they they work super fast. So you can, um, you, you know, you could put eight of these things together or more, I don't know how many you could put together, but they're, they're super fast. And uh, so you can just have as many outputs as you want. Now, if you wanna know, uh, let's see, okay. So I'm also using this Darlington transistor because uh, it's a transistor array and it's it's really cool because I'm gonna see if it's oh yeah see um, like I'm using the this one right here okay let me get that up there yeah I'm using this one right here um, and, and so it's for five volts it already has the resistors in there it's got flyback uh, diodes it's everything so it's just an array see, yeah there we go so it's an array of transistors, essentially, Darlington set up with flyback transistors. Uh, so you just put a, a you know a low amperage in here, and you get a high. You can run a high amperage out of here because uh, I'm using this for uh, solenoids. Okay, so let me just uh, quickly show you. There's the ESP32. Okay, these are the three control wires. They're going into the first shift register, and then it uh, is just daisy chained together to the next, to the next, to the next. So the serial comes out of here, and it just starts loading. Every time the clock goes, it shifts, 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 shifts down, and then it just overflows. It comes into here, it comes into here, and when I put out 32 uh, bits, then I hit the um, the register clock and everything shifts to the outputs and that's what's here so that's all there is to it so it just goes to the Darlington arrays and then right out to the um, LEDs so there you go I'm going to
uh, put a link down there you can get the software that I'm using I wrote I wrote something for the FP32 and MicroPython to to control these babies right here and uh, so yeah you can use that there you go as many output pins as you would like